Hey YouTube family, this is 1-1-Zeke and I'm here real quick to show you my um, glitter nail look. Um, as you know, um, I've been wearing nail polish with um, one of the nails, it's the fourth finger, usually different. And I wanted something colorful. And I've seen glitter nails before, but not um, every nail different. And I thought about doing it as holiday time. And then after I um, did my nails, I kind of Googled to see if anybody else was doing that. And I did find somebody doing that, but they, they used the actual glitter. And I got the uh, glitter polish. But it was after I had done my nails. So I want to show you what I did. And um, they're really pretty. And you know the polish, some of the polishes are opaque, uh, some of the polishes are kind of fairly uh, clear. So of course you would have to put on several coats. Uh, that's why I decided not to use my nail wheel because it would take forever to get some of the payoff. But let me show you the colors that I use. Uh, for the blue finger I use the Revlon and this color is Blue Magic. For the fourth finger, I use a sinful color, and this is called I Miss You. For the third finger, I use two different ones. This is sinful colors, and it's called Call You Later, and then I top it off with the Wet n Wild glitter to give it a more of a... Um, you can see all the, the specks from both ones. It has gold, blue, silver specks in it. So to give you more of an uh, uh, opaque look. And this one is called... Um, okay, I can't see. I don't have my glasses and the writing is really clear. But this will be in my birthday, belated birthday, early Christmas giveaway. And here is another one for this finger uh, by Wet n Wild sort of a red glitter with pink specks and silver specks in it. And then this one for my thumb finger it's by Zoya and this color is called Tansy. Now it is a glitter polish but it doesn't have a lot of the uh, glittery specks in it so what I did was use the Wet n Wild as a top coat to give it a more glittery look. And this, of course, is, um, these colors have numbers, number 469. And uh, before I put these on, I use my Sally Hansen base coat. And I do have other top coats, uh, but I use the Seshi Veach to get more of a shiny look because a couple of them, when they dry, they still had that matte look with the Revlon. And the Seshi Veach gives it a more um, glossy look. And there, there are uh, warnings about this, but um, you know you can choose the top coat and base coat of your own. It's just to give you an idea if you want that really glossy look. Um, this will also be in a giveaway. So I do have a couple of polishes in my birthday giveaway. And to kind of match it a little bit with my um, my nail polish, I did the Color Theory, sorry y'all, Color Theory uh, Color Wheel. And these were inexpensive polishes that I found at Walgreens. And this will be in a giveaway as well. And if you can see, they have a glittery look. And some of the polishes can be sort of... Um, pale looking. Some have great payoff and some are really pale looking so it's best to use something like your um, NYX uh, as a base or whatever base is good for you so that you can get more pop to it. And if you can see my eyes, I have on some of it. And for my blush, I have on my NARS Orgasm and I absolutely love it. Uh, I just have a little bit on contouring my cheeks and um, I applied my makeup on with my e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow, uh, I'm sorry, my e.l.f. <laughs> cosmetic 
makeup brushes and I absolutely love those as well so that's it I just wanted to show you my look because I will be coming back I'm ready to do my little birthday giveaway because um, the end of this week we will be doing our collaboration and that's me and my daughter and I think uh, both of the giveaways are going to be nice each one it gets better and better trust me so this is it I will try to attach a picture at the end I hope you all are having a wonderful day you all take care and God bless bye bye